wellness and it'll kind of give you the health and wellness stuff or you can go to beauty and fashion it'll give you beauty and fashion options and you can even come up here let's just uh, go back <laughs>
and they have funnels that they uh, created in here that are kind of like templates you can use that look a lot like the ones we're used to so you can kind of get started with this the opt-in funnel if I look at this one <coughs> you can see that it's basically the original little funnel that has just a little bit of text an image and just one button right so what I did is I actually uh you can actually clone these you can go like this in here and you say clone it right and then you can create a brand new you know it says copy by default so I can just click on confirm here create a copy I'm just going to do that you're going to see it it's going to add a new one right here in just a second it basically creates a copy of it then you can go and edit that copy instead of touching the real one right so then you can also move it to a folder so if I create a folder here I'm going to call this test and I can create a folder to kind of organize things right say I have I have different different businesses or different levels or different whatever you want to however you want to organize it it creates a folder um I guess at the top well, yeah at the top level if I go back to home right here you're going to see now there's a folder called test right there right so if I go back to my digital mentor starter finals right here where I created this clone you got the copy right here that's right there right I can want to move it I'm going to click on here and I'm going to say move to folder and then I just choose the folder test that is where I want to move it to right so I move that there so that it's not you know mixed in with other stuff and then after that I can go back to home right there and I can go in the test folder right and I can edit this funnel here right now again like I said I have not <laughs> I have not played around with this too too much yet so I don't I'm sure it, I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff that I'm not even sure how to do and I'm gonna fumble and whatever but that's the point this is the point I want to be doing this live with you and uh, you know if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out because I'll be learning more but by the time you watch this I probably will have more knowledge but still if I in this case this anyways this is kind of just a quick overview of the little basics of it right so um let's uh, let me just check on something I'll be right back yeah I didn't even have to tell you I had to go I could just pause the video come right back you wouldn't have any idea well maybe you'd see me because I'm turning my head whatever right but I don't have to apologize because you know I'm just, I'm just whatever <laughs> anyway so that's I just think that's kind of funny all right so let's go and look at the funnel I have right now so this funnel here I've got a start page I've got a thank you page and then I've got a final page and I have some other pages here which I I'm not sure if I've used or but anyways we're going to just kind of go in here we're going to go into the page itself and we're going to go and try to reproduce this layout to this page right so first let's fix the timer here because it's actually going to be the 26 instead I'm going to save that publish it and if I go back out and this is just business center right so now I'm going to see how that works in uh, in uh, creator hub so okay so now I've got it I've got the timer here I've got the you know the tags I've got uh, some testimonials I got images I got you know frequent back questions all that stuff all right so let's go and see if I can find a funnel that kind of looks like that let's first go into the digital mentors starter funnels and see there's one that's kind of like that so sales and checkout I wonder if one of these ones is what it looks like is there a preview so I basically have to go into it to look at what it what it looks like so this one is basically a preview page right there so I can click on that to preview what it looks like so this would be like this uh, basically one of these basic funnels like that okay so that's not what I want so let's go back to the other one so if I look at the opt-in funnel and I will open the preview this one here has a text a button an image and then it's got a few things right here some information and then what other testimonials okay well that's not too too bad that might be similar to what I need and let's look at the third sample I'm going to preview this 
this might be the one I need unlock the uh, with an image and the with some features some what this for what it's not oh yeah okay this is exit this is the one I want I'm going to take this and kind of do my other one with this all right so let's do that so first I go to go back the M sales and check out funnels so I'm going to clone that one right first I clone it I'm going to call it active group users workshop so it's uh, that's well I guess that's what it's called now so let's just call it the same thing all right so active group users workshop and then uh then I'm going to put it in the folder because I wanted all my active group user stuff to be in one folder so I'm going to do that which I don't think you could do with business center so I'm going to go back in here new phone uh, not new phone oops create a folder and let's call this agu and then I'm just going to take this and move it there where is it active group users I'm going to move this to the agu file there we go all right so now I'm going to go in there and I'm going to go edit that and put the text kind of the you know try to make it the same as the other one or at least similar anyways so obviously it doesn't have to be exactly the same as long as it's got the same uh, text and ideas and that's all that matters right so let's go in here and let's see how that looks like like edit is that what I do I just click on this I think yes there we go so I just click on that that loads up the editor which is something I haven't used so I'm not really sure but let's go in here and let's just make some changes I got the text over here and uh, this would be my headline I think oh right it's on me okay and then go back here and put that in there there we go and then I had some get a list of the users so that was bold and uh, this was underscore this was under um, underscore this underlined all right and then what else do we have we have connect with the best uh, this is bold as well and we have the best prospects was underlined and the get sales fast was underlined as well okay so there we go so now is there a save on this there's a save right there so a save then he wants me to add things in here so active group users workshop all right we're doing that description let's put the same text I have in there keywords we're not going to worry about the keywords yet the URL let's not worry about that yet and then update my data and there we go okay so now what's the other what's the sub headline right here get the sub headline copy the text and put it in here like that hmm, it looks like it's pasting uh it's pasting some formatting as well of some sort you know, maybe there's a, is there a oh yeah I don't know why that did that So this is basically pasting carriage turns. I guess there's well, there isn't any here, so I don't know why it's how it's finding them. But anyways, okay. So that's that. And we also have that. We had that some bold in here. Stop wasting the time in the news feed. It's bold. And then we had also are in your target market is bold let's do that all right so what do we have here uh, so we have this we don't have this we might not need it but we'll see if if we want to add it uh, maybe I want to add a section so how do you do that section add a section 
Had a roll. A one column roll, two column roll. Mm -hmm. Where does it add it? On the very bottom? Maybe I have to select this in here. This is save section. Elements, version, content control. Oh, look at that. So I can do H1, H2. Oh, very cool. So this one I want it to be H1. Why is it? Hmm. This one. Is H3? Oh, okay. Okay, well, let's go back to the button. Uh, we want the button. This here is going to be click here to save your 100%. Oh, so this button has to be edited here, does it? It is right here. There we go. And then learn about. Data PM. Okay, so do I want the color? I think I want the color to be. Where's the colors? Where's the color? It's to be red. Let's make it red. We have the red and white. Yep. And is there like a. I wonder if there's a. Oh, look at that. I'm just wondering if there's a format to the... Okay, well anyways, that's next step. Or is it going to be... Actually, it says here, next step. Is there a pop-up? Open pop-up. That's actually what I want. Save this again. All right, so now this would be an image. Or maybe I don't need it there. I don't have an image here. And I don't think I need this, or do I? Yeah, this is like not exactly the same, right? So I kind of have to come in here and edit some of these things. <sighs> it would be nice to just have a funnel that is... Maybe I should just start with a blank funnel and just create and learn how to add all the different things, right? The elements add an element columns manage columns oh look at that this takes you to the different places oh where's the oh that's cool so you can actually navigate straight to the different places and then you're basically in it what's this first 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 content image here's the image and I can come in here and I can go and change the image, right? Content name, background, there's the image right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I upload an image? Ah. Oh. Oh, very good. Okay, so, all right, so let's, uh, let's try to kind of create the funnel that's the same as this one instead, right? Let's do that back and let's see if I can do that I don't know if I can we'll see <laughs> we'll see if I can let's just uh hold on a sec here uh, let's see where am I all right so back in funnels and I'm going to go back to my I'm going to go back in here and we say create a new funnel from blank Oh, I gotta give it a name. AGU Webinar. Let's call it AGU Webinar. And then let's create from a blank one. So now what's gonna happen? All right, so now I have a blank. Go over here. There's zero steps. All right, so add a new step. Let's call this uh, 
just uh, there's no path. Let's get a register. I, I don't know if I need a slash. Let's just do that. Input from click funnels. Oh, that's kind of cool. Isn't it actually input from click funnels? Imagine that. Wish there was an input from business center, but anyways, that's uh, yeah. Okay, create funnel. So now we have a uh, page. Create from blank. Use existing. Okay, I'm just going to go in here. Import an existing funnel. Okay, that's all I want. Create from blank. There we go. All right. So now it's going to be a blank page with probably just one row. We're not even. Oh, look at that. Let's start with blank, completely blank. So I'm going to go and say full width section so this is a section so there's sections just like click funnels right or other other platforms section rows columns so I'm going to add a row inside the section and I can actually create another section so let's just see what I have in here in here I have this section which is the top let's go and just create that so I'm going to add a row in here with two columns all right so now inside of here I'm going to add an element it's going to be a headline and it's going to be it's interesting they've got two different okay and then here I've got a timer so let's see if I can do that so timer countdown all right so I've got the two things now let's put the text in here that belongs here Let's see if I can actually do the same exact thing. Let's take an extra cache to scan it on. Let's make this bold. Make this bold. And make it H3. And this one here. Can I not make it bigger than that? All right. Well, there might be all oh, right over here. Font size. Let's move the background. Typography headline font. Color is going to be white. And then the background of the section. It looks like I can have to select the text first. So this is actually the text. Uh, what I want is the the row. Let's go to the row settings. And let's change the background color to red. Hey, yeah, look at that. Change the text. Is there a check text color change in there? No, I guess not. Okay, so it must be the section right here. Settings for the section color bold color text can be white aha that's why all right and then this one okay and then over here we've got the same thing I want to go in here and I want to change the section um, Oh, the label color and the background color is really white. There we go. And then the color, the font. Hmm. Oh, look at that. So 8 p.m. Six. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Perfect. So let's save this. Atu. Let's just call it this for now. All right. So we got our heading. Look at that. I got my heading. Kind of looks similar, except maybe this one. I want to 
Can I align the text? Yes. Although that doesn't look. Okay, so this one here should be. Oops. Should be hitting three. This one should be hitting one. Oh, it changes the whole thing. Okay, I guess I need two sections. Let's clone this. And in here, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to take that out of there. And then this one, I will make it H1. And this one, I'll make it this one here. I'll make it H4. And this one, I'll make it H2. Which one's fine. All right, take back your time, thanks. So now this, how about this one? I want this text to be. right here hey, look at that isn't that cool so mobile I can make it a bit smaller yeah. that's fine this time all right so now we have this one now let's come in here and let's add a new section full width section again and the next section will be this whole thing which will have what is this can't tell it's so small all right so over here I'm going to add a new row it's going to be a one column row add an element it'll be a I don't know look at all the stuff I can add right what I want in here is a what is it basically just a block a couple I guess it's a block or a section is that something I can put in here Paragraph. A blocks. Countdown. A custom. A media. Video fact. Blog. Form. Text. Hmm. Well, let's just add a headline. So this will be this headline here all right there you go so look at that I got this and I can make this it's an h1 you can all bold no I guess I gotta select it on the bold and then is there a different color? It's red, right? Let's go to the text settings. Text color is going to be red. And there we go. So now let's add another. Let's add a sub headline right here. Come in here. We're going to add another sub headline. So in here, look at this text. go put that text there so I'm not sure about the you know spacing and whatever but let's just go back into here Facebook safe software make this bold and what else did we have we had turn your uh, new prospect into buyers Faster than the other method. Bold. This. Now we add another sub headline. All right, sure. Let's save it. Give me a little reminder down the bottom to save it. 
So now the other one is not a subheadline. <coughs> it's actually a headline again. And it'll be this. I think they might be there. All right, so that's that's the headline here, and then this one has get a list of the most active users. Is all bold, and then the connect with the best prospects and get sales fast. Is bold. Then I have get list of the <coughs> list of the most active users underlined. And I also have best prospects and get sales fast. And get sales fast is underlined. Alright, so then I have what? <coughs> then I have stop wasting your time in the news feed and focus on. Okay, so there's another subheadline. And then we're going to take this text from here. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You just take things and you put them and you copy them, copy and paste. And it just, you know, takes a while to do it all, right? But it's pretty straightforward. <coughs> and then over here we have stop wasting your time in the news feed. There we go. And we are in the target market. All right, so then I have a button. So next, add a button. Go down here, I add a button. Button. Oh, look at that. So the button has. Click here to save your. And then the subtext has got. None at all. Go. And then let's change the button to red because you know, I like the red. Although that kind of makes it red up here. Anyways. <coughs> so now I'm not really sure about this. Let's take a look at this section. Section settings. Padding left. Of course, each of these sections, I would have some padding. Padding the top, let's put 100, let's put 20. 20, 20, and this one, 20, 20. And this one. I want to make sure it's not like you know all overcrowded, right? It's, it needs it needs to breathe. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm adding margins to the top and bottom. If you notice, it kind of makes it like breathe a little bit more, right? <coughs> so uh, okay, let's save this again. So if we do a preview here, that's what it looks like now. Live software demo. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It says Monday here. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I never knew that it was never fixed. Thursday. I'm, I might as well change that in here too, right? Fix that in here.
because this one will still be live this week so okay look at that it almost looks the same well not exactly the same but anyways okay so now we have another section so this is a section I don't know how to make this you know look like that but it was <coughs> so this would be a section with a row okay so let's do that so now I add a new section down here let's go down here and say plus plus a new section full width wide medium oh what those means eh? but anyways let's make it full width always might as well and then here I'm going to add a row it's going to be a one column row and inside of this it's going to have a subheadline this will have this text Thing. it's not this what, what is it what am I doing here this is because I'm not in the right thing you know. so save now let's go to the next one it's again it's a heading so add another heading a headline I should say come up into here so it's kind of like hidden behind you right so let's just uh, So for some reason it's add, adding carriage turns right just like whatever I don't know why obviously but I'm deleting them and that's why you're seeing what I'm doing here all right so now this is uh secret is bold and then I have getting sales faster than any other method to you is underlined there we go so now I guess there's a way to save the file locally too anyways all right so um to you now what's next is over here add another subheadline and actually before we do that let's let's get this guy margin not margin padding there we go and then this one here is going to be this text getting there we're getting there and then this guy here has got the same thing padding 20 so let's go back here we have exactly how to use the software Bold. and then we have turn and equal prospect underlined, oh, underlined the space 
There we go. And then we have who wants to buy your stuff. Bold. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna it, it's we're not gonna get through the whole funnel, but um let's add at least add this section here see how this is three columns right so let's go over here and I'm going to say add a new a new row and this will be a three column row and then in here I'm going to add one two three things there's three items in the row so there's going to be an image going to be a is it a headline okay. and, well it's a small I guess it's a it's a paragraph and then a bullet list is that what it is no not really so it's actually not a paragraph let's delete this and let's add a subheadline that's kind of what it'll be right let's do that again here we have an image we have a sub headline and we have a bullet a paragraph a bullet list paragraph add an element an image sub headline and a paragraph and there we go so we're just going to save that like this so basically we just got to go and add these images of course there's the integration that I have to and, and so that when somebody clicks this button it, it pops up the registration and then I have to add you know this other stuff the testimonials the images and then the frequently asked questions so there's there's still quite a bit to do it takes a little longer than I was hoping but still you know you get it done you just one thing at a time one thing at a time you'll move forward you get to the end and that's that's the only way you get to the end is by doing the things one thing at a time right one step at a time just just go take a step go to the next step and you'll get there all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.